Hello everyone, Reza here. In this video, we will learn how to build custom validations in the modern form control experience in Power Apps. Validations on text columns, choice and multi select choice columns, dates, lookup columns, and a lot more. So let's check it out in action. Here I have a modern form control experience connected to a data source. When the user tries to submit the data, the validations take effect. These are custom validations that I have baked in into the form control experience. Required field validation, minimum number of characters needed, custom date validations, required field validations for choice columns, multi-select choice columns need to have a certain minimum number of selections, lookup columns, here the user cannot assign the task to themselves, once all the validations are complete and the user hits submit, the data gets submitted to the backend data source. Let's explore how to build these custom validations in a modern form experience. Let's begin with creating a screen that has the modern form control experience. And for that, we have a ready to go screen template called header and form. The form control added on the screen template is the modern form control experience. The data source that is connected to my Power App is a Dataverse table called issue tracking. The table has different types of columns, text column, choice columns, date, multi-select choice, and a lookup column that looks up to data in a different table in Dataverse. Assign to, this looks up to the Microsoft Entra ID related table. That's how I can select a user to whom I would like to assign the task. In my data source, the only column that is designated as a mandatory field is the issue column. Let's connect the modern form control to my issue tracking table in Dataverse. Number of columns to display, I'll pick three. The color for the form, I'll pick white. One of the fields that I would like to show on the form as well is the assigned to lookup column. The form control, default mode is set to new. So the form starts off with a new form experience. The submit button, it submits the form and then immediately tries to reset the form. I'll remove reset. If I preview the app and try and submit, any required field validations will trigger. For the data card for issue, there is a modern text input control that has a property called validation state. If there is any error in this data card, the validation state will be set to error. And that's how this red border gets displayed for that specific control. The error message, if I would like to show this in a different color, this is the modern text control. I can go to font color, pick a color, I'll also change the font weight. Now to this, I would like to add my own validation logic. For example, minimum number of characters that the user has to enter in this column is five. The first thing I will do is select the data card, right click and unlock so I can make changes. If I select the text input control, validation state. I'll use the function and. The first criteria is already there. 
the second criteria will be the length of self dot value this should be greater than or equal to 5 let's preview i'll type some text notice the red border is still there for this control meaning validation state is error if i type more than 5 characters the validation state gets set to none back to where the length is less than 5 i don't see the error message that's because the text property of the error message is set to parent dot error this i can change to the following if data card value 5 that's my text input control dot validation state if this is equal to error then coalesce meaning pick the first non empty value of parent dot error or the only other error that can occur is that the title is less than 5 characters so i'll put the following message the error message is not visible the visible property of the error message has a formula that i will simply transform to true if i preview the app i can see this new error message that's because there must be at least five characters if i remove issue is required if i plug in those many characters that error message goes away cancel will reset the form the forms reset meaning it's a new form experience now but it directly shows error to begin with the user has not yet clicked the submit button only when i click on submit button should the error messages trigger when submit is clicked instead of submitting the form i'll set a variable where form submitted and i'll set its value to true now when the cancel button is clicked the form is being reset here that variable where form submitted i'll set to false so if i click cancel this variable has the value false for the text input controls validation state property i will add an or condition on not of that variable and then my remaining condition would be as is there is no validation error to begin with but the moment user hits the submit button the validations will come alive once i put in the valid info the error message goes away cancel the forms reset that variable value is set to false priority this is not a required field in my data source but i would like to make it required here unlock the data card select the priority combo box control validation state if the form is submitted this i would like to check in an and condition along with is blank of self dot selected dot value if yes error if no none submit see the validation state error error message i'll give it my own text priority is required visibility of this control my combo box control dot validation state is equal to error so i get this error message if i pick a value the error message goes away cancel resets the form no validation errors until i hit submit tags this is a multi select choice column my combo box controls validation state property i will change as follows if and form is submitted count rows of 
self dot selected items is this less than two if this condition is true validation state will be error else none submit you can see the validation state has triggered for the error message text will be please select minimum two tags visible property of the error message data card value four that's my tags combo box dot validation state is equal to error please select minimum two tags the moment i do the error message goes away date reported should be less than or equal to 90 days from today and it cannot be greater than today instead of putting this as a validation rule which i can by writing power fx formulas many a times we can also take advantage of the properties of the modern controls itself for example the modern date picker control if i head over to advanced and if i search for start there is a property called start date here i can enter a simple formula date add today go and subtract 90 days from today's date there is also an end date property this one i can simply pick today so if i preview date reported I cannot pick any days greater than today and I can only go up to 90 days before today. No need to plug in any validation logic here. The date control itself handles that. Assign to. Now I need to check if the current logged in user's ID is the same as the user that is selected and assigned to. Because I'm trying to add a validation here that does not allow the user to submit the form if they are the current logged in user. For that, I will use the Office 365 users connection. For the assigned to combo box, validation state. If and where form submitted, self dot selected dot ID is equal to office 365 users dot my profile v2 dot id if yes error else none type cost to a good by using the good function notice i picked myself puts this red validation error if i pick a different user the validation error goes away the error message the text i'll say you cannot assign the issue to yourself visibility the combo box control dot validation state is equal to error for my issue data card if you notice the validation state logic here was a little different because it was already a required field in my data source and i tried using the existing functionality of parent.error even this i can change based upon my scenario which is if in an and condition where form submitted is blank self.value and length of self.value is less than two if any of these conditions are met you show an error else none my error message visible property my data card value 5 dot validation state is equal to error and the text for this error message issue title is required and must be at least five characters now that i've plugged in all the validation logic what if the user plugs in all the right information and hits submit? Well, in that case, I would like to actually submit the form. 
And to do that, I need to check if there are no error messages here. The easiest way to check that is as follows. Head over to the app object and let's use a named formula that I will call as form valid is equal to or condition. Here I will check for the visibility of each of my error message controls. And for that, I can simply start typing error message, error message one dot visible or error message two dot visible and so and so forth. I'll close the or condition and put a semicolon format text or condition of all my error messages. None of them are visible. So this will lead to false. Right before this, I'll put a not. Form valid will tell me if the form is valid or not. To confirm this, in my screen, I'll go and insert a modern text control. I'll place it here at the bottom and give it that named formula form valid. You can see it shows true. If I make any error, it will change to false. So now form valid tells me whether the form is valid or not. And when the submit button is clicked, the first thing that happens is this variable where form submitted becomes true, then the validations come into play. So I would just like to introduce a delay of a few seconds. And the best way to do that is by inserting a timer control in the screen. This timer control, I'll set its duration to a thousand. That's one second. When submit is clicked, I am setting the form to true. After this, I'll set a variable called where start timer. I'll set it to false. And then immediately, I will set that variable to true. I'm simply changing the state of a variable. This variable called where start timer, I will use this on the timer controls auto start property. I will set this to where start timer. And when the timer ends on timer end, this is where I will want to submit my form only if that named formula called form valid is true. If form valid, then go ahead and submit the form, which in my case is called form one. This timer control, I don't have to show the user, visible property will be false. The screen in which my form control is placed has an on hidden function. I'll set that variable, which is where form submitted to false. And I will set that timer variable also to false. I'll do the same thing on visible of the screen also. This is just to be sure that whenever I visit the screen or leave the screen, these variables are always false. Now this form control is ready with the validations and I'm ready to connect this form control to a gallery or a modern table control. This is something that I have shown in my previous videos. Let's try this out. I click on new. It's a new form experience. If the user tries to submit, only then the validations kick in. Cancel will reset the form. Back will take me back to the main screen. I'll fill in all the required fields. Once I enter all the data and click submit, clicks on that timer, submits the form, takes me back to the home screen. Here is the new issue that got recorded. And if I select an existing issue, click edit, and try and make a change that's not valid, the validations will come into effect. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.